Hey y'all, it's American Mom. I am going to continue with Stranger Things. I did a review at the end of the last episode, so check that out if you missed it. I don't have anything else to add. I just want to get right into this episode, which is episode three. Let's do this. Are you constipated again? Oh, no, Mom. Huh? Okay, you're acting weird. I am not acting weird. Oh. Hey. <laughs> awesome. What's in there? Right? Yeah, I, I, I rigged a trap with uh, a motor to make it look like I caught a ghost, just like the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep quiet. All you had to do was stay still for one minute. <gasps> what are you, little guy? No! No! What were you doing in my trash? You hungry? Oh, God, this is gonna be like a. What was that movie? Where they were cute, um, and then they were like. <laughs> It's an alien Go of some on. sort. Eat. What the hell is that? Too hot? Sorry about that little guy. It's gonna grow ginormous. You're not gonna find that thing in that book. Oh my gosh. Look, it's gotten bigger. Now, Dustin has seen things that we have in season one, like the Demogorgon, and he's going to pick up something that looks like that. It's not a slug, it's not a snail, it's not a lizard, and you're going to bring it in the house. And you're talking to it, and it acts like it understands you, but you're okay with that. Even though you're smart as hell and you're a nerd, you're okay with that. This is causing more problems. We've already got enough problems. What's the name of this episode? Yes, next. Chapter three, the polywog. What the hell's a polywog? That thing in the sky brought it. It's that slimy stuff that's on the, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is it him again last night? He knows about it. He says he needs me. You want me to go check on him? I know that you miss him, all right? But it's too dangerous. I know. You're the last thing he needs right now. On day 500? I don't know. On day 600? I don't know. Day 700? On day 800? Oh, I need to see I knew it. Shit! Shit! She did. Friends, don't. Lie! Okay. I mean, this time, I didn't run. This time, I stood my ground. I just looked at Mr. Baldo in his stupid face and I said, Go away! Go away! I don't think that's just like that. gonna work, Bob. He was gone. Never saw him again. He began to curse. Using terrible words, the bad tail of being here. He brought it to school! No, 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 no. Do not leave the house. It's your new home. Home. Aww. There's going to be a couple ground rules. Rule number not one. to leave. Always keep the curtains drawn. Yeah, Rule don't do that. Two. Only open the door if you hear my secret knock. And rule number three, don't 
ever go out alone, especially not in the daylight. Especially not in the daylight. Eleven. Bullshit. Oh yeah. Also, you don't love me. I was drunk, Steve. I don't remember any of that. So that makes everything that you said. It's just, what? It's just bullshit too. Yes. Well, then tell me. Tell you what? You love me. Really? Heretic. I don't know if she does. How big is it? His name is D'Artagnan. Tell him it was only this big when you found him. It looks like something's moving inside of it. It is. No, it doesn't like heat or light. Damn it. Well, I, I don't care. It's okay. I got you, little guy. Yeah. It's a form of that. Oh my God, Dustin, I'm so sorry. It's traumatized again, and so am I. It still works fine and everything. I just I went back and watched the tape, and there were some older kids picking on Will. What? I scared them. Kill them. Yeah, I you tell them about that. I yeah. I kill them. Do what it. What I love about you. <laughs> you punch back. I like him. He's sweet to her. He means well, but he gave Will some really Grass, bad advice. Crops. I keep things nice and quiet for you. Mm -hmm. And you keep your shit out of my town. Yeah. That is the deal. Okay. I have done my part. Now you do yours. Convince me. Hopper so, knows that there's he asked you to take me home. Still yeah. Doing stuff down there. Okay. Yeah, he's upset. I feel like there's this. I don't know, like this. Like there's this weight you're carrying around with you. All the time. I feel it too. He feels yeah, it too. But it's too. different for you. Do you want to skip fourth period? Eleven, where are you going? Oh, I hear people. Hopper is going to be so pissed if you are spotted. Do I have a mother? Yeah, of course you have a mother. You couldn't really be born without one. Where is she? She's not around anymore. Gone? Yeah. Isn't she the one that was in the wheelchair like a vegetable? Because of all the that, tests? We never got an answer. And uh, father died four days afterwards from a fever, too. Eleven, don't cry. What's that? So Mrs. Thomas says. She's gonna find out who these assholes were and she's gonna kick their ass. I don't blame her. Bye! It's walking off. She sees it. I didn't until she touched the screen. And then she's gonna see that it's... And it's the drawing, damn it. What'd she do? Oh, she just scribbled. I'm really sorry, Mr. Clark. It was just a stupid prank. What the hell are you doing? Stop. We need to go home. Right Mike. now. Right now! Will told him. Why didn't you tell us before? I wasn't sure. So it's a coincidence. Or not. What if when we were stuck in the Upside Down, you somehow acquired true sight? True sight? Gives you the power to see into the ethereal plane. <laughs> Elaborate. Maybe these episodes that Will keeps having aren't really flashbacks at all. Maybe they're real. Maybe Will can somehow see into the Upside Down. So that would be... Dart is from the Upside Down. <sighs> we have to take him to Hopper. I agree. No, no way. If we take him to Hopper, Dart's as good as dead. Maybe he should be dead. How can you say that? How could you not? He's from the Upside Down. Maybe. <laughs> See? He understands. Guys, what's shit. going on? Come on. Holy shit. Now it's bigger and it's green. Oh, shit. No! Damn it. No. And now it's loose. Smaller, Parker. Oh, shit. 
What is it? It's a it's a slug frog. What? You let him Why did you attack him? Come on. Don't hurt him. Don't you hurt him. I have my breath. I gotta stop doing that. I get lightheaded. I need to tell you something. Something about Barb. About that night. I. I. Um, I haven't been honest with you. But I, I can't tell you here on the phone. Meet me tomorrow, Forest Hills Park, 9 a.m. Of course they're listening. Do, do they know that? Do they know that? Is that why she said it? God, she looks like Mike now with the hair. Of dark. To be honest. Where'd you go, you little bastard? <laughs> Hurry up! That way. No! Yeah, but you don't want me in your party? Correct. Yeah. Why not? Because you're annoying. Also, we don't need another party member. I'm our paladin, Will's our cleric, Dustin's our bard, Lucas is our ranger, and Elle's our mage. Elle? Who's Elle? Someone. Let her in the group, Mike. It's not be mean. Come on, she's trying to fit in. She has an asshole for a brother. She hears his voice. Oh, she's gonna see him talking to a girl. No, it's, um, it's not what it seems. Damn it. Oh, she's gonna make her fall off the. Damn it! You're not crazy. She was there. Will, you should not be in bathrooms. I swear to God, if it jumps in his body. Where is it? Close the door. Guys, I found him. Close the door! In the bathroom. By Mr. Salonis. He understands. Close the door! It's okay. No. I'm not gonna hurt you. He'll eat you. <sighs> You're fine. Oh, barking hell. Now we're gonna be in the upside down. Run, he's gonna remember Bob saying, Don't run, and then where is Will? Go find him, go find him. He's right outside, but he's not. This time, I stood my ground. He said, Go away, we know. I knew at some point that story was going to come back into his mind and the next time he encountered that freaking thing he was going to stand his ground and say go away and it doesn't listen easy peasy bob i think you're a nice guy but you were talking about a human that that had a big glove on and scared you this thing is he doesn't understand and now it's like he's either going to vanish again and go back where the factory is and end the upside down or it was going all in him and he's going to be I don't know um I, I gotta get to the next episode but Nancy called Barb's mother what's she gonna say and she can't tell her over the phone but why'd they go to Radio Shack what was that about I'm about to find out Elle left the house should not have left the house 
a woman and her son spotted her and then probably said the swing went crazy and Hopper knows it's her. She goes to the school and Mike, I'm not exactly sure why he's pushing Max away. He wants their group just to stay the way it is and not include her, but he also misses Elle and he's been messed up for the past year. He's just been kind of rebellious and different. So, but what she saw was a girl skating and him kind of smiling. So it, and it wasn't what it seems. It's never what it seems. Okay. That's my, that's my review at the end of this episode. I got to go watch episode four. Okay. To the next video and the next time. <laughs> Bye.